Challenge has been laid out, first graders. I know, you right? Up, up your game. Kindergarten scholars stepped it up. Well, for Women's History Month, we love to highlight local women who are making a difference in our communities. Kim is live to introduce us to Wendy Hilliard, the first black athlete to represent the U.S. in international competition in rhythmic gymnastics. Hey, Kim. Hey, guys. I know I can be what I want to be. I mean, that was great. And I bet you Wendy Hilliard was singing that song when she was a young gymnast because she got her start right here in the city of Detroit practicing gymnast gymnastics at rec centers like this one. Now, she didn't practice at the Kemeny Recreation Center, but now she is bringing gymnastics to young gymnasts here in southwest Detroit, and it's all because of her love of that sport, and she hopes to pass it on. U.S. Gymnastics Hall of Famer Wendy Hilliard was born and raised in Detroit. Left side of Detroit, went to Cass Tech High School. But before she got to Cass Tech, she found her passion at the age of 12, gymnastics. So as it turned out, for the recreation department, we had these four master sport champion coaches teaching in the recreation department. And as a result, we had a really spectacular gymnastics team called the Detroit Metro Gymnasts, and that's how it got going. Wendy would go on to compete on the World Championship competitive team, but that didn't come without controversy. She was one of the top gymnasts at the time, but was initially told she didn't make the team because she stood out too much. I was shocked. <laughs> I was really hurt, of course, but I was really shocked. I'm like, what do you want me to do? I mean, yeah, I'm gonna stand out, but that's not what it's about in gymnastics, but I called my parents. And they were not having it. They were just like, they were so upset. All the challenges they had gone through in their lives. And they sent a letter, Telefax or whatever we did back here in the 80s to USA Gymnastics. And USA Gymnastics says you can't do the selection process based on that. So they went to the national championships and said, we're just picking the gymnasts by rank order, how they competed at or how they results from the national championships. And I was able to make the team. It was the reality of gymnastics back in the 80s a predominantly white sport, a stigma Wendy had to fight and now hopes she's paved the way for other black gymnasts. Inspiring young gymnasts is Wendy's life goal, starting the Wendy Hilliard Foundation in 1996, providing free and discounted gymnastics to more than 25,000 disadvantaged children at local rec centers in urban areas. Her foundation started in New York, where she lives now, but she brought that opportunity here eight years ago. So the one thing I could do was bring gymnastics back to the city of Detroit because for one, it was my passion. It gave me so much and the kids really needed it. And now we're at the point now where we've been there since 2016. So at the Kemeny Center uh, in Southwest Detroit, and we're also at the Motor City Flip Factory. And while it would be great if these classes became the story behind the next great Olympian, Wendy says the sport of gymnastics is about building character and good people. And that's what she aims to do here in Detroit. Now here's the key. You are for sure gonna fall off the beam. You're gonna drop your ball. Something is gonna happen with, with you after you've practiced, but you have to get up and do it again. You have to go back and do it again. Builds great character. And as I mentioned, the, they do offer uh, the practices here at the Kemeny Recreation Center, also the Motor City Flip Center in uh, South or in Southfield. Uh, but however, she her dream for the Wendy Hilliard Foundation is to open up her own space. She wants a big, big space where they don't have to roll in the mats, uh, the beams and things like that. And that's just going to be where a lot of children can come and learn about gymnastics. So that's what's next for the Wendy Hilliard Foundation. If you'd like to learn more about her foundation, WendyHilliard.org. In Southwest Detroit, I'm Kim DeGiulio, Local 4. And we love her life lessons for sure. All right, Kim.